This is all my, all my, all my. Tom, we got to have one of these. I adopted yeah, really. daughters and sons <laughs> from, from Ray Gables. <laughs> Wait, bring Helen uh, over here. Uh, she and there comes, yeah. there comes Grandma. That's not good. Oh, yeah. Grandma, you have to come over. Not Grandma. Grandma. That was all it is. Basil said this is only the sons and daughters from Ray Gables. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. I'll, like I said, I'll be over there. Adopt the family. So I, this is our this my last group of four. <laughs> <laughs> Kids get out You're Wednesday. On the, and get out yeah, so, so. And you see, Mike live by my house. Yeah. 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 Just yeah. about done with this. But I, we, we did Everything that. you say oh. can be held on tape. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Come over and yeah. yeah. have a big kiss. We just I do. Yeah. Which one? Whatever. Right or left? Now we know why he's adopted. We gotta get help. Well, I've got it made. One more. One more of these. I hope this will last for a long time. Glasses. There's glasses on. No one likes to have pictures of them eating. Go over there and take Larry's picture. Tell him this is a Simon Barton. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty and talk because you're on you're on yeah. 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 You're on y
You're in a press conference. Yeah, oh, yeah, so he's, we're going to have movies for this. Is that right? Talking and everything, yeah. And then the oh, those, show those things sometimes. are great. Yeah. You going to cut the cake? Yeah. There you go. Uh, your mother, I need your mom to tell me how to do it. Okay. You just, oh, here uh, she is. Get a hold of, put the two of you hold, put your hand on the knife so that we can see it. You guys have done this before now. You should no, have had practice. No, lay the knife on like that. Okay. All right. Go ahead. Cut it. Oh, I'm starting to cut. I put a dent in it anyway. Go ahead. Cut it. Okay. Say something. Say something so we all know that. Yeah, say what? What would you like for me to say? There, I've done it. <laughs> She's done it all. I've done, done it. She's done it. She's done it. She's done it. <laughs> Right. 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 Take the knife up. Wow. 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 No, no, that's not right. That's not right. No, something isn't right. No, no, stop. No, stop. That's wrong. That's wrong. Something just that's isn't that's right. That's right. Let's see. Well, make a toast. Hey, maybe if I put it in this hand. Yeah, that's it. Now, try that. <laughs> there, there we go. <laughs> Grandpa's finished his, and Grandma just took a sip. <laughs> We don't get in the sips, we take those. Oh, we bottoms up? Bottoms up. Okay, bottoms up. Because it's easy. What is the other camera? No, it's a Staff. And since then, of course, uh, we found that they were generous to a fault. They were warm, loving people that we were really thrilled and very pleased and, and proud to be associated with. We go back a long time, and I just wanted to just share a couple of things with you. We took a trip to Hawaii in 1973 with illustrious Sir Walter Kessler. So we decided to go ahead and rent a car. We were going to tour the island. <laughs> <laughs> and you've heard that of Hawaii Five-O. Well, there is truly a Hawaii Five-O. Because we parked up on this great big overlook, you know, and all the scenery was just so grand. And all of us remembered to lock our door, but there was only one forgot to take the ignition key, and that was me. <laughs> but anyhow, we had to turn around, and we called Hawaii Five-O, and they rescued us, but we had a grand and glorious time. For many of you people that might not know it, this particular building and the one across the street, if you look real closely, you'll see a lot of Basil Barlow's handprints because he has worked here long and hard, many, many hours, many, many days. Basil has paid his dues, he's done his part. When the temple was first being structured, the new building over there, he saved us like some $5,500. These tables that you see here, like over in the main mosque, he, uh, he saved us something like $5,500 by building those tables himself. He also, uh, he built a freezer for us in illustrious Sir A.C. Robbins' year. And he did a good job because we had a heck of a time tearing it out when they got ready to renovate the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> but really, 
We're all gathered here today, and I'm so proud and pleased to be here with the family and friends and this and that and other. But uh, it just it just is such a thrill to have known Basil and Helen. The other day we went shopping. Wileen says, "Come and go with me. Let's get Basil and Helen a gift." Well, shopping to me is somewhat like watching grass grow. I don't really enjoy shopping. But anyhow, we went down in, and a thought occurred to me. Here we were going to try to buy something for Basil and Helen. I thought, well, we'll have to get something for Helen because we can't get anything for Basil because he's got it all. <laughs> a man that has been married to this lovely young lady for 50 years has got it all. Now, there's no question about it. We can do that. You know, we're, we're taught in the good book, in the Ten Commandments, that thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's wife. Well, we don't covet Helen. We love her. But let me give you a word of warning. I would admonish you to hang on to her because there's about 500 other guys besides me that would like to take her home. I'll guarantee you. But it has been a, a very long-lasting, warm relationship, and, and I think that we can honestly say that, that Helen and Basil are the types of people that knowing them in this world of uh, trials and tribulations, knowing them makes this world a better place to be. Would you agree with that?